Hi there, money savers. Welcome back to Amateur Money, the channel that's all about helping you make the most out of your hard-earned dollars. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our finance tips and tricks. Today, we're going to dive into a topic that a lot of you have been asking for, travel hacking. We're going to show you how to save big on your next vacation. Whether it's a trip across the state or an adventure across the globe, we've got you covered. Hack 1. Exploring the world of travel hacking. To kick things off, let's delve deeper into what travel hacking really entails. In essence, travel hacking is a strategic approach to travel that leverages the world of loyalty programs and credit card rewards. The main objective is to amass points, miles, and other forms of rewards, then optimally use these to significantly cut down on travel expenses. This includes everything from flights and accommodation, to car rentals and dining experiences. While the concept might seem a bit intricate at first glance, the practice of travel hacking is actually quite manageable once you understand the basics. In simple terms, it involves smartly navigating the landscape of credit card bonuses, frequent flyer programs, hotel loyalty programs, and other promotional offers. These platforms often provide opportunities for accumulating rewards, which you can then redeem for various travel-related services. The knack of it lies in figuring out how to amass these points and miles in the most efficient and cost-effective way possible. A critical note to remember is that travel hacking is not just about collecting points and miles, but also about knowing how and when to redeem them for maximum value. Each loyalty program and credit card reward system has its own rules and redemption strategies. A successful travel hacker, therefore, is someone who is able to navigate these rules, tailor their spending habits to maximize reward accumulation, and strategically redeem these rewards to get the most bang for their buck in terms of travel experiences. The beauty of travel hacking is that with the right approach and a bit of diligence, anyone can become a savvy traveler, enjoying premium travel experiences without the premium price tag. Hack 2. Mastering the Art of Credit Card Points Diving into the world of credit card points, it's important to understand that these rewards are one of the most powerful tools in the travel hacking toolkit. Credit cards, especially travel-focused ones, provide an impressive avenue for collecting points that can be exchanged for a variety of travel-related benefits. But how exactly does this work? Credit card companies frequently offer enticing sign-up bonuses as a way to attract new customers. These bonuses can allow you to earn thousands, sometimes tens of thousands, of points merely by spending a predefined amount within the first few months of opening the account. However, earning points is just the first step in mastering credit card travel hacking. You also need to become well-versed in how to redeem these points effectively. The value of credit card points can vary significantly depending on how they are used. In some cases, you can get more value by transferring points to partner airlines or hotel chains, rather than redeeming them directly through the credit card company. Furthermore, some cards offer periodic promotions that can boost the value of your points during redemption. Therefore, understanding the specific rules and opportunities of your credit card's reward program is crucial to maximize the value of your points. Finally, a crucial aspect of credit card travel hacking is responsible financial management. While these reward systems can be incredibly lucrative, they can also be a slippery slope into debt if not managed responsibly. Always remember to pay off your balance in full every month to avoid accruing interest. Additionally, it's important to only make purchases that align with your regular spending patterns, rather than spending excessively just to earn points. Done right, credit card travel hacking can open up a world of travel opportunities, allowing you to explore new destinations while keeping your wallet happy. Hack 3. Navigating the Skyways with Frequent Flyer Programs Embarking on our third travel hack, let's take a closer look at frequent flyer programs. These loyalty programs, offered by airlines, are designed to reward regular passengers with points or miles based on the distance flown, ticket price, or both. The beauty of these programs is that the more you fly with a particular airline or its partners, the more points or miles you accrue. And these aren't just for securing free or discounted flights in the future, they also open the door to a world of elevated travel experiences. When we talk about maximizing the benefits of frequent flyer programs, we're not just discussing accruing points for flights. There's an array of additional perks that these programs can offer, adding a touch of luxury to your travel experience. These benefits can range from priority boarding and access to exclusive airport lounges, 
to extra baggage allowances, and even upgrades to business or first class. Some programs also offer elite status tiers, where the perks keep getting better the more you fly. However, it's important to approach frequent flyer programs strategically. Not all programs are created equal, and some might align better with your travel patterns and preferences than others. Factors to consider include the airline's route network, especially if you have a preferred or frequently visited destination, the value of the airline's points or miles, and the additional benefits that come with the program. Additionally, some programs allow you to earn points through partnerships with hotels, rental car companies, and even certain retailers, offering more ways to boost your points balance. With a little research and strategic planning, frequent flyer programs can become a powerful tool in your travel hacking arsenal. Hack 4. Mastering Discount Travel Websites The online world is teeming with travel platforms dedicated to providing customers with discounted rates on various travel services. From flights and accommodations to car rentals and vacation packages, these websites can serve as a powerful tool in your travel hacking arsenal. The trick is to understand how they work and how best to leverage them for your advantage. Some of these platforms operate as aggregators, pulling together deals from a variety of providers to give you a wide range of options to choose from. Websites such as Skyscanner, Kayak, and Expedia are examples of this, providing comparison tools to help you find the most affordable rates. Other websites like Priceline offer the ability to name your own price or bid on travel services, potentially allowing you to secure a deal at a fraction of the standard cost. Moreover, many of these discount travel websites have their own rewards programs. For every booking you make, you can accumulate points that can be redeemed for future travel. For instance, Hotels.com has a program where you earn a free night for every 10 nights you book through their platform. It's important to sign up for these programs and consistently use the same platform to maximize your earnings. Remember, the goal here is not just to save money on a single trip, but to strategize and accumulate savings for your many adventures to come. Hack 5. The Art of Flexible Travel Planning The key to unlocking significant savings when planning your travels lies not just in where you decide to go, but also in when you choose to embark. Being flexible with your travel dates can open up an array of opportunities for cheaper flights, accommodations, and overall travel expenses. This is because travel costs are heavily influenced by supply and demand, which fluctuates based on the time of year, day of the week, and even time of day. Airfares, for example, can vary dramatically depending on the day of the week you choose to fly. Generally, midweek flights, particularly on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, tend to be less expensive compared to those scheduled on Fridays and Sundays. This is largely due to the reduced demand as fewer people travel during the working week. Similarly, opting for flights at less popular times, such as late-night, red-eye, flights or early morning departures, can also lead to savings. The seasonality of your destination also plays a crucial role in the overall cost. Opting to travel during off-peak seasons, when tourist demand is lower, can result in lower costs for flights and accommodations. For instance, you might consider visiting a ski resort during the summer, or a beach destination during the fall. Not only will you find fewer crowds, but you can also take advantage of lower prices. Always remember, flexibility in your travel dates can equate to a flexibility in your budget, allowing you to make the most out of your travel experiences. Conclusion And there you have it. Those are some of our top tips for travel hacking. Remember, it's all about being strategic and making the most out of the resources available to you. So the next time you're planning a trip, Try out some of these strategies and see how much you can save. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, this is Amateur Money, helping you save more and travel farther.